Hi everyone, this is Will with KL Aviation, and in this lesson I'm going to give a quick overview of airways on the en route low altitude chart. Now airways are the primary means by which we navigate through the national airspace system. There's a system of highways in the sky that tell air traffic control exactly how you're going to get from point A to point B. Most airways are still currently predicated on VORs, or radio navigation aids, and these airways crisscross the country and are called Victor Airways. Here we have Victor 474, we have Victor 499, Victor 408. All these airways are these black lines that extend from VOR to VOR. Now airways, as you can see, aren't always directly between VORs, so we have all these fixes in between as well that help us make turns and get from A to B in the most efficient way possible. Airways are all Class E airspace, controlled airspace, and they extend from 1,200 feet AGL up to 18,000 feet MSL. Now above 18,000 feet, there's also J or jet airways, but for this lesson we're going to focus on the lower altitude V or Victor airways. Victor airways are designed to keep you clear of obstacles and able to navigate throughout the airspace system. To keep you clear of obstacles, they give you a 1,000 foot clearance over the highest obstacle in non-mountainous terrain and 2,000 feet of clearance over obstacles in mountainous terrain. In addition, the airspace of an airway extends four nautical miles each side of the center line to give you a buffer in which to remain clear of any obstacles. Now when you look at a chart, the Victor Airways, those that have the V and the number, are all predicated on radio navigation. So they're all going to have some VOR associated with that airway. In the case of Victor 499 here, it's the Lancaster VOR. As you can see, to identify various fixes as well, you're going to need to have multiple VORs tuned. So in this case of finding the uh, gears intersection here on Victor 499, we also need to have this VOR here tuned up for a crossing radial. Due to the fact that the FAA is trying to phase out some radio navigation and move to more efficient routing structures, they've now implemented what are called T routes or RNAV routes. T routes are depicted in blue and have the same identifying markings as a Victor airway, only they start with T as in Tango and give the number. T routes will normally crisscross multiple Victor airways and go point to point in a much more efficient manner since there's no limitation to nav aid signal coverage and VOR service volumes. Finally, you can also navigate using direct routing or RNAV direct, GPS direct routing across the country. Due to the fact that if you're flying GPS direct, you're not on an airway and you're not really integrated into the national airspace system, flying GPS direct requires the approval of air traffic control and also requires that you're in radar coverage the entire time that you're flying a direct route not on an airway. This is to ensure proper traffic separation and also to keep an eye on you to ensure that you are clear of obstacles. However, obstacle clearance when flying direct does become your responsibility and it's also your responsibility to look at the different off-route obstacle clearance altitudes to plan an appropriate altitude for your flight. Finally, when we're talking about airways, when we talk about joining an airway or leaving an airway, we must do so all the time at a designated fix. So for Victor 265, we can't just be flying out here somewhere and decide that we're just going to fly over and intercept Victor 265. We have to take off from an airport, 
fly to a designated fix on the airway, and then join the airway. That's the only way that we can show air traffic control exactly where we plan to enter the airway and where we plan to go on the airway. Air traffic control can give you vectors to join an airway, but that's at their own discretion. When you file, you must file to and from specific fixes as you enter and exit an airway. And that's it for this short overview of the airway system within the National Airspace System. I hope this lesson helped, and I hope you join us at klaviation.com, and I look forward to seeing you in another KL Aviation lesson. Mm -hmm.